Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana and this channel is all about me sharing my tips and tricks about my cake decorating journey. First of all, I'd like to wish you all a happy new year. Hopefully 2021 will be a better year for all of us. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful sugar sheet cake. I've done it in the past, but I'm going to guide you step by step and answer many, many questions that you guys had about this particular technique and we're gonna do the cake first and then at the end of the video that's where we're gonna get into it so make sure to really watch the whole entire video so that you get all the tips and tricks at the end of the video so without further ado let's get to it
make this technique very simple and it just gives that nice wow factor very elegant so you guys had so many questions about this particular technique so let's get to it and answer most of them so first of all you can use glucose syrup but you can also use light corn syrup make sure that it's light and the so like that the colors won't mix because if you use the dark one then it's just not gonna have the same effect if you use your food coloring for the food coloring you can use liquid you can use powder there's no problem with it whatsoever i tried them both they work fine um also i forgot to mention for the glucose part about it you will find that the corn syrup um, it takes longer to dry and it's more like loopy when you put it on your cake but it works if you use the glucose syrup on its own it comes harder quicker and it stays really nice on your cake again it really depends on the temperature of where your room temperature how it is because in certain videos i put two hours three hours four hours to let it set and dry but because where i live it's not humid so it dries quickly but it really depends the drying time on the temperature that your room temperature that you have so that for that it goes all the way from two hours to add say even four even four hours and a half you will know when it's ready when you pick it up from your parchment paper if you see that it's hard and sturdy it's good to go on your cake if you see that it it has a tendency of wanting to separate then wait a little bit longer but like i said you will kind of get that with the light the corn syrup it has i find more difficult time to stick together the glucose has tendency of coming hard as a rock the other question was can we eat it well it's sugar it's made out of sugar so yes the answer is it's edible so yes you could eat it are you going to eat a whole entire sheet of sugar no so what i would say is that simply use it for a wow effect but you can simply remove it and then eat the, the cake now uh, a lot of people were telling me uh also uh what i was using i was using buttercream on my cake so that stays out nice can you use it with uh, whipped cream yes you can no problem um how do you attach it don't use water because sugar and water will obviously dissolve and your sugar will like disappear and it's going to be all wet so you don't want that you simply i'm telling you it's going to come hard and then you mold it to your cake there's nothing more you you don't need to like glue it to anything you don't need to use any product it will literally stay on your cake really really nice i think that was pretty much it for the questions that that came like more often but if you guys have other questions that you didn't have the answer in this particular video let me know down below and then i'll answer them for you no problem so i really hope you guys enjoy again if you haven't done it yet subscribe comment and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that i put up and i wish you all a beautiful day a beautiful week a beautiful year and see you in the next one